Now, the last thing I want to talk about is um, that we can not only cut DNA apart, but we can also paste DNA together. And this is actually something that we do in DNA technology all the time, where we are able to take small pieces of DNA, insert a piece of DNA that's of interest, and then and then um, have that be incorporated into an organism. And the work the workhorse of biotechnology are bacteria. Now bacteria have a circular piece of DNA. That's what we call their chromosome. But in addition to this, and we haven't really mentioned this, bacteria can also incorporate plasmids, which are small circular pieces of DNA into um, themselves as well. And these plasmids can can have their genes read. If there's a gene on there, it can be read and processed and proteins can be made from that. So we can then um, take a plasmid, for example, and we can cut it where we know it's going to be cut from a restriction enzyme. When we do that, these, these ends that are left over, so here, this one we cut at the G-A-A-T-T-C um, cut, when we do that, these leftover ends are called sticky ends because the, the DNA doesn't like to be left alone, right? DNA likes to be double-stranded. And so what we can do is we can also cut um, out a gene from an organism of interest. For example, if we wanted to cut out the gene that makes insulin from humans, right? We could cut that gene out, and then the, if we cut it out with the same enzymes, it's going to have the complementary sticky ends. And so therefore, you can take that gene of interest and you can stick it into this, um, this, this uh, bacterial uh, plasmid that, that we're going to use. And now you have, a little uh, you have a little plasmid, a little piece of DNA, but with now an inserted gene of interest, like if it's the gene to create insulin. Um, and then a, a new uh, enzyme called ligase is able to patch these things together, to glue them back together. So these sticky ends come together, but then they're actually glued together in these, and, and now it's as if that's all just one big piece of DNA. And that's called a recombinant DNA molecule. And we do this all the time. And in fact, um, the, the gene for insulin um, is a very common way in which we have bioengineered a bacteria to produce human insulin. And so human insulin is now produced by bacteria that contain a gene that is the human gene to create insulin. And we can do this with all types of organisms. This is how we make genetically modified organisms, is by mixing and matching genes from one organism with another organism. And we have the molecular tools to do this, these restriction enzymes and ligase, which then paste these things back together. So we wanted you to learn about that as well because just as we can cut things, we can also paste them back together. And these are some of the methods that we do in DNA technology.